What's up, it's Jumani. I had just recently uploaded a video talking about how I may go viral. As I'm recording this video, I still don't know if I'm gonna make controversial decisions to go viral, but I'm making this vlog to kinda give a little bit detail of my situation, my thought process, and how I'm gonna try to plan this out because I have no idea what I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna do anything. So again, I when I when I do videos like this, I always want to make sure that I'm taking responsibility and I do take responsibility for all my for all the choices I made because I try to treat every video like it's a first impression. If this is the first video somebody's watching of me, I just want them to know that I take responsibility. That's if 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 people take anything from my videos regardless on how they feel about me. So, my 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 current circumstances. I was told I should get out the house, right? That's nothing new. You know, I've been, you know, that's just something like you get into arguments and then, you know, I'm not, this ain't my house. So it's like, you get into an argument with someone that's, that they're, they're the, the lease is on their name. It's like, okay, well, you got a problem, get out the house. Now, one thing about me, um, I don't tell people everything about me. You know, there's things that I do keep personal, especially my household because there's a lot of things that don't got nothing to do with me i like to keep my i like to keep everything like based on me like this is me my problems right here over there is other people's problems you know that don't got nothing to do with the internet i live with my family i love my family it's an unconditional family they love me at the end of the day you know what i'm saying but you know every family got issues right nobody's perfect uh but Again, I don't want to, I, I feel forced to make a vlog, right? I feel forced to talk about this because this is how I plan on making a living. I don't, because I've chosen not to work jobs. Being a content creator is, this is gonna have to work for me or I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble, right? So I don't like talking about what's going on the other side of my living condition. But because I'm, I potentially could get kicked out if, this person is being serious, then, you know, what am I gonna do? So, all right, this is probably gonna be a part one. If there's a part two, that's good. That's probably that's probably gonna be a problem because if there's a part two, it might be because I feel like I'm really getting kicked out. As of right now, I'm by myself, I'm in a crib. Let me get into the little details of, of, of what kind of the situation was. So someone had asked me to help them with their problem now i said no now why would i say no right um i'm not gonna help a drug addict with drugs i'm not gonna give a drug addict drugs i'm not gonna give alcohol to an alcoholic i'm a gambling addict you shouldn't give me money if you don't want me to go gamble with it, because if you give me a large amount of money, anything more than a hundred, two hundred dollar donation, there's a chance that I'll be tempted to go gamble. That's it. Don't give drugs to a drug addict, uh, alcohol to an alcoholic, money to a gambling addict, etc. If you know someone, whatever, right? So I said no, because there were times where I did contribute to someone else's problem. But me contributing out to someone else's problem also falls back on me because I'm living with people with problems. So that's kind of the, that's kind of, that's as much as I'm gonna tell you. In result of that, it was like, okay, you got a problem with it, get out. This is, the, I've been dealing with this for over a decade. I, I live with my family. I, I have an unconditional family. You know what I'm saying? It's unconditional love. So, but, I always take everyone serious. Even if I don't know if they're serious or if I feel like they're not being serious. I'm kind of, I'm a real pessimistic person. I always look at the worst in situations. I hate being pessimistic, but that's just the way how I am. Maybe one day I could be optimistic and be just a little bit more positive, but I'm, I'm always gonna consider the worst possibility and it doesn't really favor me, but I have to. So if someone's being serious and they seriously got a way to like, you really got to get out. Well, immediately my result is into controversy going viral on the internet. Now, um, the reason why I said there's going to be a part two is because how am I going to do that? Right? Obviously I'm going to go into, I'm going to go, I'm going to go into society and act completely crazy and do, and just do all types of crazy stuff. And 
it's not even going to be structured because I, I I'm not really planning. I mean, I got ideas, but this this I this is not the type of mindset I want to be in because when I decide to go viral, I have to con I literally have to meditate or this is I meditate and then I try I try to create this character and try to I don't got time for that. I don't got the energy for that. You know what I'm saying? To try to be this character, you know what I'm saying? I just need to go, I just need to get the numbers and be able to monetize it. And so that means I'm just gonna be in the streets acting crazy, going to jail left and right. But I'm saying that because I need my followers to follow me, right? And I need you to understand how to follow me because what I've been I've been doing this since 2019. When I upload videos, my pages, YouTube, all my social media is going to get a community guideline strikes. That's one of the biggest reasons on how I ended up having multiple accounts because uh, my first, my YouTube channel, Jumani Struggle, that that originally, I don't know, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure the community guideline strike is going now. It was like a warning. They give you a warning and then I, I think they give you three strikes. I got a warning when I did uh, the F Fuck Right Aid uh, CVS. Like that video, when that video was going viral, people were coming onto my YouTube channel. I had uploaded that. And I had probably other videos. I think I had to see the stealing from CVS. That got people see that they start hating, and then they start um, reporting it, and then that's how the community guidelines and you know basically lose my channel. Uh, the Jamani Way Twitter when I went viral at Subway, which I don't care about that Twitter at all, but they they took that down, and I'm prepared for that. I, that's why I made a Jamani Way Twitter. That's why I have. That's why I have separate everything. So just in case if I do go viral. People are gonna try to ban me. They're gonna try to, you know, cancel me. All of this stuff. But if, I, depending on how viral I'm going, if I'm going like real super super viral, which I never did, but like how I was planning on just like like we're talking hundreds of thousands of followers, like crazy, like kind of like a boot gang, like that was the plan originally. You can't stop that. It's hard to get the jump start. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause once I start uploading, it's not gonna go viral immediately. It's gonna take a week. It's gonna the following's gonna have to keep. So within that time, the people that are really hating, they're gonna have enough time to really kind of really report a lot of my videos. I already have accounts. The reason why I'm saying all of this: follow all my Twitters, all my Instagrams, all, follow everything. You don't have to follow all of my accounts. That would be ridiculous. I have way too many accounts. I don't even understand why I've made this many accounts. But um, when I was making accounts, when I was doing controversial videos in 2019 and 20, whatever, it was because I was trying to prepare for my my accounts obviously getting taken down. So just be, if, if I'm homeless and I'm outside going crazy on the internet, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be uploading wherever I can upload um, because again, I could try to log in one day and then, you know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, once I start going viral, my videos are going to get reported and I'm kind of just hoping on, uh, blog sites to kind of follow me and they're going to take my videos and then that's how I'll go viral. So, um, you don't even have to follow my accounts, but if, if I'm in an unfortunate position where this is the choices that I end up making, where I'm just going viral or I'm just outside you know what I'm saying? Doing crazy videos, trying to go viral. Um, you know, if you, again, this is, this is not, I, I don't even want to make this sound like this is something that I should be doing or want to do, but to support me in trying to go viral, just share the videos or, or screen, screen record the videos and upload it or send it to meme pages and tag it. It's, I, I hate to even ask for this, uh, because this is not something I should be asking for. This is not the way I should be trying to create content and trying to, you know, get myself in a position to make content to monetize. But this is where I'm at in my life, and it's pretty sad. But um, yeah, you don't have to follow any of my accounts. If one account gets deleted, I'm just gonna take videos and upload them to another account, Wh whatever account. It could be from Twitter. I created an account for my KFC. When I worked at KFC, I, I created a Dollar Tree, YouTube, like uh, Instagram, the same thing, like my Jamani vlogs, whatever. I, I will like, I will have, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be structured, 
because I don't even want to structure this, right? Because because I have to take the time and plan for this. Which this, if if you really know me, like if if people really knew me, you would know how much I hate to be in this predicament. Like this was never what I wanted for myself throughout my life. This is not what I want for myself. But I'm already in it, and I made the choices, and this is what I got to deal with, and this is this is my fault. You know what I'm saying? These are the consequences. But I don't know if I'm gonna do anything if I do get kicked out. Again, people left, eventually they're gonna come back. They wanted me to help them with something before they leave. When they come back, if they're still standing on what they were saying and they're gonna kick me out, I don't got no place to go and I'm not even gonna look for no place to go. I know what I gotta do, you know? And regardless on who feels about it, how people feel about it, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. And long-term, I could just hope that it works out, you know? I've already proven to myself that nobody cares about this. I went viral at what I did at Subway. For the record, I wish I never did that. If I could go back, I wouldn't do it. But I did what I did, and after that, I've gotten multiple jobs. The point I'm making is that it didn't, nobody really cares, right? I can recover from this. The only thing that hurts me is the reputation, is the criminal record things of that getting arrested, things of that, you know, my relationships with people that personally know me, that seeing the videos, friends and family, like those things, I can't recover from that. Like that is, you know, I, I, I built a reputation, I made choices, and this is what I gotta deal with. Um, I'm just trying to make sure I say this is, like I said, I might have to do another part and that might be like a little bit more structured, but if I do another part, that because I'm, it is because I probably got information that I really need to get out. Mind you, I've been getting threatened to get kicked out multiple times for years now. Again, everybody has their limits, so I don't try to push nobody. But from the beginning, like I said, I'm not helping nobody with their problems, especially if I love them. You know, I probably did it a few times, but I'm a gambling addict. If you want to help me, you got to, and as much as I hate to say that, I'm not as much of a, and I'm, I'm not, this might be something what a gambling addict might say or somebody with addiction might say, I'm not as bad as I used to be, but in all honesty, if you want to help someone with addiction, let's say for myself, I'm a gambling addict. You want to give me some money. Don't give me no money. Whatever it is that you want to help me with, just pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you want to help me get groceries? Don't give me the money. Just go buy, like if you, if you care about somebody that has a problem, just, and the, let's say they're a gambling addict. I wouldn't, I mean, you can trust them and see what they do with it. And if they do, and if they make that mistake, then you can use that and say, hey, I tried to give you the money before, but you went and gambled. But like the best way to really do it, if you, I'm a gambling addict, someone's, I'm gonna gamble, so most likely. So you have to know how to help somebody. And over time, it's like, I'm not gonna continue to help somebody with their problem and I know that they, they're not helping themselves. And even worse about that, again, I'm saying more than what I wanna say, but this particular person does not take any responsibility, which creates a whole delusion where the problem was, I did, let's say you don't help, you don't help me. Um, let's say I don't help someone drug addict. I don't give them drugs. And because I didn't give them drugs, well, now I'm the problem. Like there's something, I did something wrong now. Like you genuinely believe that I did something wrong because I didn't I didn't give you drugs. You know what I'm saying? Or you didn't, I'm, I'm getting so lost, but it's like that, I'm living with that kind of delusion too. I love my, I love my, I love people that, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, I love my family. Like I said, I come, I live in an unconditional household. It's been an unconditional household for a very long time. I don't like talking about my household problems because it's nobody's business, but it's, it's bad. You know what I'm saying? It's real bad. But it's good too, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of love too, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's just, you know, we. I, I'm sure there's a lot of people that can relate, you know what I'm saying? There's a, there, people have a lot of problems in life, you know, household-wise, that I'm sure there's a lot of people that can relate. But I could tell you what I'm going through, 99% of people, or probably I'll say 90% of people ain't been through this because this is a very rare, it's it's not, it's, it's, it's serious, you know what I'm saying? And... That's why it's so bad that I can't just simply tell you because it, there's so many layers to it that I could go viral if I just expose that.
But again, by exposing that, I have to expose my family, which I'm not going to do because I'm not going to disrespect somebody that is the only person that's going to love me unconditionally when nobody else in the world is. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to call a spade a spade or, you know what I'm saying? Like if somebody's delusional, irresponsible and completely crazy and insane and that's what I'm living with, that's what I'm dealing with, it is what it is. And I hate to post this video, but the fact that I got, I'm getting threatened to get kicked out, I have to figure out what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it. And when I go, if, if I end up going viral anyways, people are going to ask me, well, why did you go viral? What happened? People, my videos are going to go viral. Oh, you had a good job. You was working at a hotel. What happened there? I'm going to tell them like, yo, I mean, that had, I'm going to, I'm going to have to tell people to, to monetize my audience. What's going on as much as I don't want to. And I'm going to be, I'm not going to designate me. I'm going to always give all the details, but I've been going viral for so long and I haven't monetized much of anything compared to the viralness that I've somewhat gained that I know that it's it's this this internet thing is like you got to keep people's attention and it's so hard to keep people's attention when we live in a world that everyone has such a short intent attention span you know what I mean so if I do this I really have to go all in with this and I just don't know how this is gonna work. I don't know if it's gonna work. So, this is as much as I can really say, right? Without saying too much, cause I've already said more than I wanna say. But because I feel under pressure on potentially getting kicked out, I'm just expressing how I feel because sometimes I don't have too many, I don't really have too many people I could really talk about my situation with and then um when people see me on the internet going crazy you know it's gonna come back to this anyways because this is this is the what's gonna push me over the you know what i'm saying this is what's gonna be that if you kick me out what am i gonna do i'm not gonna go waste my time trying to go get a job i've already i've had i already had that opportunity I'm not gonna try to make peace with my friends and my other family. Like I'm not, if I burnt the bridge, I burnt the bridge. I'm, I I accepted the consequences of it. I knew that I, I knew it was, I was gonna get rich or die trying and I, and I might die trying. <laughs> this is the choices I made. So uh, if, I, I don't know, crashing out is a possibility. Um, hopefully I don't make a part two. And if I don't make a part two, I'm gonna regret making this part one because I don't wanna I don't wanna give this much information on my personal life because it's nobody's business. And the things that I can the things I say can and will be used against against me. So I know this is long, uh, but it kind of has to be because it's a real situation. And that's it.